I always look so orange in my bedroom light. Hi guys! So today's video is going to be vlog style. It's going to be me standing here talking to you guys and showing you guys something. If you are new to my channel, there is a chance that you might have found my channel off of one of my most viewed videos ever my strawberry legs video. So today I kind of wanted to give an update after about a year and a half of that video being up and viral on YouTube and kind of address some of the comments that I got in that video and also give you guys a visual update because one of the biggest comments and concerns that I got in the video was that I didn't show a before and after and people were like, oh my gosh, what is this? So if you guys are interested in seeing my true update about my strawberry legs, then just keep on watching but first make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and make sure you turn on the post notification bell that way you never miss when I upload a new video. I upload every three days and feel free to follow me on my social media handles at Glamineso8 everywhere that way you can see behind the scenes YouTube content and other glam and ratchet parts of my life. But otherwise let's get into the most scandalous video I've ever on this channel. Not really, not really, I'm just kidding, but let's just get into this video. Okay, so like I said before, this is going to be a follow-up of my Strawberry Legs video. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it up above and down below. Strawberry Legs, if you've never heard of that, it's like when you have these little freckly pores that are just very there. <laughs> um, they're very visible. I have always had strawberry legs, but never knew that that's what it was called until I started going online and kind of researching it. But basically, I don't want to say that I was so insecure about my legs to the point where I never showed them because that's not true. I wore shorts and stuff all the time. If anything, I was more insecure about my weight. But that's a whole other video. <laughs> but when it came to my freckles, I was always hyper aware of them. And I was hyper aware of the fact that my legs looked different than most people's because most people you can't see their pores and it was really annoying to me. It almost made it look like my legs were always hairy because of how visible my pores were and it was just a really big personal problem for myself. So I decided to test out some of the things that I did in the Strawberry Legs video to see what would happen. And I realized that by doing these steps, like exfoliating my legs and using chemical and physical exfoliants and always lotioning after I shower and stuff like that, it would help to calm down the appearance of my pores. Me being the blogger that I am, I decided to make a YouTube video tutorial for it and post it online. And I honestly did not think people were gonna watch it. I thought if anything, there would be like 50 other people that I would be helping out. And if I can help out one person, that's my thing. I've been on YouTube for a long time and I'm not a big YouTuber and most people would have quit a long time ago, but I YouTube because I like doing it. And I like being able to connect to people even if it's a very small amount of you guys. So I really honestly posted that video not thinking it was gonna go viral and then out of nowhere, I just kept seeing the view count go up. I was really surprised at how many people actually were curious about strawberry legs. I just didn't think that it was that widespread of a problem that it would go viral, but it did. So first and foremost, I want to say thank you to you guys who've been watching it and who have been supporting my channel and that video in particular because there are a lot of you guys who comment and you're like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. I've gotten DMs from you guys asking me questions about the video, saying that you've tried the things in the video and they have worked. Okay? <laughs> but with things that go viral, you get attention from everywhere and you get attention from people who want to give you hate. And I feel like that video has spawned like the most hate comments ever. But they haven't been anything that I really have taken to my heart. So I think I've been handling it really well and I think this is like my test of whether or not I can handle things like this. I just wanted to address some of the things and finally give you guys the before and after you guys have been asking for. So let me just address some of the comments on the video. First and foremost, the most popular comment that is all over that video is that the video starts at three minutes and da da da. No, it doesn't. The video starts at zero, zero, zero. I'm introducing the video and giving you an intro and an explanation of strawberry legs just like anybody else would. So the actual tutorial starts after three minutes, but the video does not. Okay, so get your life, stay in your lane, figure something else out. As a blogger, you need to have structures to your videos. You can't just go on and post like a five second video because people want to connect to you. So how about all the people who are telling me how to run my channel? Go make your own, be successful, have more followers than me, and then come back and tell me. And then maybe I'll listen. There was one particular comment that caught my eye and I did already address it and um, it wasn't really hateful as much as it was... <sighs> I don't know how to describe this. Someone basically said that they felt like I was being disrespectful almost or kind of promoting colorism in the black community because I said that I was hashtag team white skin in that video. I have always had strawberry legs and I didn't realize that it was a thing. I just thought I was kind of weird. I just figured because I am and I have dark hair that there was no 
way of getting rid of the little dots or freckles on my leg. And let me first start off by saying that I can never, as a human being, tell someone else that I didn't offend them and that I didn't hurt their feelings. I'm not going to take that away from anyone who might have been offended or hurt by me saying that because I can't tell you that I didn't hurt your feelings. Like that just, I can't, I can't do that and it'd be correct. Like I did hurt your feelings or I might have offended you and for that I am extremely apologetic and really sorry for anyone that I might have hurt saying that and I addressed that in a previous vlog of mine. However, that is not what I meant. If you guys are on my channel, you guys know I joke around a lot. So me saying hashtag team light skin, like I, I didn't actually mean like there are teams in the black community and I'm on the light skin team and you know everybody else. No, I didn't mean that at all. For someone who is half black, half Puerto Rican, I am kind of lighter. I mean I'm still tan and I love my complexion. Like I have nothing against other complexions. I was just saying it was light, you know? Like, I didn't think anything of it when I was saying it, but that happens a lot. Sometimes people say things and they don't realize that they come off a certain way. So for that, I am sorry, but I just want you guys to know I'm not colorist at all. Um, I'm, I'm not. I promise. There was another comment on there that I thought was kind of funny because someone didn't actually logically think this through, but they were saying that I was kind of trying to con you guys because in my intro in that video, I have like a video footage. I'll try to put the clip here, but it's of me with ripped jeans on and it's kind of showing a DIY because it's in my like regular intro and you could see my strawberry legs because they were so visible. So the person was like, if she got rid of her strawberry legs, then why is it in this? Not thinking or realizing that that intro was before I actually started this stuff and before I filmed that video. The intro was with me since the beginning of that year. So it wasn't like I filmed that intro the same time I filmed, you know, like, think people think. There are some other hate comments where people are just saying like I'm annoying this that and the third. Those things really don't bother me because I know that they're just trolls. So anyways I wanted to post this video to give you guys a true update on my strawberry legs and everything in that nature because another thing that you guys have mainly been commenting and it's the most recent comment that I noticed was someone saying that you know to get rid of strawberry legs you can't shave. You need to wax and in my video I showed you that I shave. I still shave, I don't wax my legs, and I kind of agree with that to some extent. If I would have waxed, it probably would have went away much quicker. I was trying to see if I could get rid of mine or at least make them less visible through shaving and doing these other things than waxing because some people just don't have that option. Some people don't have the money to wax or they don't have the pain tolerance to wax. So I wanted to give you guys kind of like an easy way to get rid of them and I feel like I did. I don't disagree though, I do feel like waxing is the better option but I don't think that you're just SOL if you don't wax your legs. Now with strawberry legs I have to say that I have had some ups and downs within my last year and a half since that video has been up especially with consistency. <laughs> I realized that if I wasn't consistent with actually exfoliating my legs, more specifically physically exfoliating with that brush, if I wasn't consistent in doing that with every shower my strawberry legs would go from like being less visible to going right back to where they were. So that's something to keep in mind is that you have to be, you know, consistent. But with that being said, I found that I kind of work it into my routine. I still have days like today in which I'll shower without the brush, especially if I'm staying over someone else's house. But for the most part, I do. And that's pretty much like the biggest thing honestly and then making sure that you put on lotion and actually like moisturizing your skin has helped a lot but I have not waxed my legs since I've done this video and I have to say that I feel so much comfortable showcasing my legs. I'm not saying that my legs are perfectly smooth um, especially because of the inconsistency with my exfoliating but it has decreased to the point where I'm really happy with my legs and I'm going to show you guys because I have nothing to hide, honestly. I have decided that I'm going to do this in two ways just so that you guys know that I'm not trying to deceive or con you. Right now, I'm going to show you my legs as of today. I have not shaved my legs, so this is not the final look. I'm actually planning on taking my shower and stuff tomorrow before going to work, and I'm going to show you guys my strawberry legs after I've shaved and done my exfoliation one time. It's not like I have any filters on the video, but in order to prove to you guys that I'm not lying, I'm going to show you guys this right here. Oh, where is it? This is my carpet. This is like the area in my room. So this will be where I will be tomorrow when I showcase my legs. I apologize for the hair you are about to see. But as you can see, this is my leg with hair on it. If you get closer, if you get closer, you can see the little hairs. You can see the little freckles that I was talking about with my strawberry legs. Literally, I'm going to show you guys tomorrow when I shave how much of a difference this makes. Here are both of my legs, just so you can see. But I do want to point out, I don't know if you guys can notice from my thumbnail, but my legs, even with these hairs on them, the little freckles look a lot lighter 
than they did before. And this is, oh, sorry about the scars, by the way. I get bug bites and then I literally swell like tennis balls on my legs. So that's what that is. <laughs> um, but these freckles look a lot lighter, even with my legs being hairy, um, than when I had first started my strawberry legs journey. I'm just tired of people telling me that I'm lying. Okay, because I'm not, just because I didn't wax my legs does not mean that I didn't actually try and come up with a routine so that I can be more comfortable in the skin that I'm in. The whole point of me sharing this was to help other people who feel the same way. And also, the last most recent comment I got when someone was saying like, oh, she doesn't wax, so this doesn't work. Also, they were saying that I made this video just so I could make money off this video. I did not know this video was gonna go viral. I did not know that people were gonna actually watch this. If I would've known that, I made a video like the first time that I made a video on my channel, but I didn't know that. So, I'm sorry you guys. I'm sorry to all the trolls out there who keep trying to troll me. I'm just being me. I'm just doing me. And I'm just trying to share any advice that I have and any problems that I have with other people so that they feel like they can relate to someone. But anyways, I'm gonna finish this vlog off right now and I will see you guys tomorrow after I shave so I can show you guys my legs. But I wanted to show you guys my legs after they've been shaven with my routine. So zooming in a little, again obviously they're not perfect especially with my scars but this is unfiltered video so you know I didn't edit a photo and I feel really comfortable showcasing my legs to you guys. If you zoom in super close, you can still kind of see little dots, but they're not nearly as apparent. And like, I honestly feel, sorry about the mess behind me, I honestly feel much more comfortable showcasing my legs. So here's the real tea, my legs, exfoliated, shaven, using my strawberry legs routine. My legs obviously are not perfect, but there are ways for you to troubleshoot your legs and to get them where you want them to be by just exfoliating, um, honestly, and making sure that you moisturize your legs. And I've had videos on my channel since then that have not been surrounded by my legs, and you can see how my legs aren't as freckly as they once were, and I just think people need to accept it and try the tips. So I just wanted to basically go on here to address the strawberry leg situation, to clear up any of the comments, and to finally show you guys my after, because I didn't show you guys before, and that was my fault, because that was just stupid on my part, I should've done that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope that you stay tuned to see other types of how-to videos, helpful tips, DIYs, vlogs, all that good stuff. And with all that being said, I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!